And we're sitting here with Heidi Ripplinger from The Spice Hunter, and Heidi's going to talk to us all about her products and company, um, but also um, just stay tuned. We have about a half an hour to an hour worth of great interviews coming up. Thanks for joining us, Heidi. Thanks, Thanks. for bearing with us with the technical <laughs> no glitch. Let's start kind of over again. Okay. Tell me about The Spice Hunter and how it came to be. Okay, well, The Spice Hunter was founded in 1980 by Lucia Cleveland. Um, she was really looking for herself for products that would make her um, food better in her home. And she wanted the best products that she could find and was unable to find them out in the market. So she was on a hunt for uh, like hunter. hunter. Exactly. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Light dawn. Her <laughs> last name was actually Hunter as well. Oh, so. oh that's a good point. <laughs> so um, she was looking for great products that she could use and was able, unable to find them. So she looked all over the world, sourced from the ideal growing regions for each product, like um, the cinnamon is from Saigon oh. and things like that. So she just looked for the best products that she could find um, for today's consumers. And starting it from home, and now yep. you have how many products? Over 165 varieties. Unbelievable. So yeah. a, quite a growth within this company, Absolutely. certainly. Yep. Great. And today we're specifically going to speak about your new products and salt free blends, correct? Right. Okay. Yeah, right. we have an extensive line of salt free blends, over 36 varieties. And these wow. are just some of our um, consumer favorites. Um, deliciously dill, which is an amazing spice. Um, it's good on salad, you know, vegetables, fish, all, all things like that. Um, Herbs de Provence, which is not usually found in a salt-free blend, so it makes it really good. Um, dietitians love the salt-free blends. Yeah, People sure. are able to add how much they want compared to, you know, not knowing how much is in the blend. Well, and it makes it easy too with a, like a Herbs de Provence. There's so much. It's such a versatile blend. Absolutely, that you can do so much with it, and right. it really enhances uh, yeah, the way chicken, you cook. Chicken, potatoes. Oh, yeah. You know, fish, whatever you want. Whatever you want, for exactly. sure. And then we do have a hot Indian hot curry, which for you know the Indian foods, for sure, it gives a little bit more definition, more burst flavor. That's um, wonderful. Good for chicken marinades, all different kinds of stuff. That's wonderful. And so, how many? Um, do you know offhand how many salt-free blends that you have? We have 36 varieties. 36. My word. That's a lot. quite. A, that's quite a bit. And uh, so, and they all. And I must say, like the dill, the dill blend. It, it they're, they're sizable dill chunks. I mean, a lot of times you find blends within the supermarket and everything's so granular right. this is and Very I'm going to try to bring it close up here. This is actually really uh, good and it looks like it has good weight to the spice. Right. So great. And so, and then we were talking about brining. I um, confessed and uh, for anybody who's watching who knows me, I've never brined a turkey. And that's uh, something that I need to do uh, soon probably, well maybe this Thanksgiving, but you've brought brine along. Right. Um, brine is your best bet for making your turkey uh, the moistest, most flavorful, easy turkey you've ever made for any Thanksgiving. It and is it easy? It, it is so easy. All you have to do, you know, is basically boil the ingredients in the jar. You know, we've measured everything out so that you don't have to go and buy the jar of juniper berries. So, it's so all this right is here. one jar, one turkey. Yep. This one uh, makes about two 14-pound turkeys, or you know. One, one really large 24 pound turkey. Sure, or you could even divide it. But, exactly. And again, I mean, I, and hopefully you can see this on the camera, but it's pretty, that it's really beautiful. The bark yeah, is very, beautiful. Very chunky, very gorgeous. Um, yeah, exactly. Apples, cranberries, juniper, rosemary, oh sea salt. That's It's gorgeous, absolutely yeah. gorgeous. So you're here um, exhibiting, and where, what, where can people find you? Um, at booth 341. Okay. Um, North Hall. North Hall, fantastic. And online, how's the distribution for Spice Hunter? How wide We're do you go? In, we are a national, um, nationally, national, <laughs> you're, you're retailing retail company. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, retailed. Yeah, nationally something. Yes, they're nationally everywhere in the United States. Distributed company. Fantastic. Um, yes, but there's a lot of our things which are, you know, turkey brand being newer. You know, we're looking sure. to get out there more markets. Which is why we're here today, so that you're meeting buyers and sellers Absolutely. on the show floor and uh, and getting that out. But so people can find you pretty much in every state in the U.S. Um, or online. Um, and are you using any social networks as well? We do. We do have um, a Facebook and a twi Twitter. Twitter account. So. Good. Yep, That's wonderful, and that would probably be at, um, at Spice Hunter. Yep. And yep. Uh, on Facebook, look for Spice Hunter as well. Um, anything else that, that is new and exciting for you? What are you guys seeing for trends as, as people are buying and, and a lot of things, trends come out of the fancy food show? Are you seeing people um, lean towards one, one flavor or another? 
a lot of more Indian type foods. So the curries are very popular. Anything that's antioxidants, people are definitely focusing on their health. That's great. Um, so it's, it's great, you know, and it's, there's a lot of different things that you can do with spices in order to make your home food a lot better than it was. That is. Well, thanks for coming. I definitely, I'm now committed to brining next Excellent. year at the show. Come see me because I'll let you know how well, it went. Definitely. It might not have been so well, but I did sure <laughs> the brine will taste good. <laughs> thanks a lot Thank and have you. a good show. Safe travels home today. <laughs> thanks.